KSC Presents. The first McDonald's in Moscow opened in 1990, and this video show how insane it all was. On January 31, 1990, the first Soviet McDonald's opened, in Moscow. It was the largest McDonald's in the world, at the time of its construction. And a venue with 900 seats needed a lot of employees too. In a country where unemployment did not exist, 35,000 people applied for a job in the fast food restaurant. Around 600 were hired. The venture had been in talks, with the Soviet officials since 1976. And you could say that, the appearance of this notorious symbol of capitalism, was a sign that times were changing. Reportedly, the restaurant expected to serve around 1,000 during its first day, but more than 5,000 Russians lined up in Pushkinskaya Square, before it even opened. The summer came but the lines just kept growing. People from other cities were flocking the restaurant just for a single hamburger. We stood under the melting sun for around eight hours, one visitor said. That wasn't so much of a problem as we were used to standing in lines, for days just to get our monthly ration of sugar and tea. Once inside we were blown away, by the number of young cashiers behind the huge counter, smiling, moving like bees, serving one meal after another. Nothing like our fat old ladies in white gowns sitting, in front of empty shelves, pyramids of dusty canned food as window dressing. I still remember how insanely huge the milkshake looked, and I didn't know how to hold a Big Mac with my tiny hands. The Moscow McDonald's initiative was a joint venture, between McDonald's of Canada and Moscow City Council. A plan first envisioned when George Cohen, founder and CEO of McDonald's Canada, met Soviet officials at the 76th Summer Olympics in Montreal. I'm particularly proud of the people story, behind the first opening, both from Canada and Russia, learning from each other and working as one team. This is a story about cooperation between nations. And it is also a story about the Soviet, who saw a sign outside reading rubles only and who said to me, this is my restaurant. The opening drew many important people, including Boris Yeltsin who later became the first president of Russia. And in the country where the average salary was about 150 rubles per month. A Big Mac was selling for 3.75 rubles. And people couldn't get enough. In total, over 30,000 customers passed through the doors on the opening day of the restaurant. Setting a record for the number of customers served by a single McDonald's in a day. The Soviet Union dissolved on December 26, 1991. Today, 649 McDonald's are operating in a hundred Russian cities. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.